four, three, two, one, zero. And we have lift off the world's most powerful rocket has taken to the skies. CEO Elon Musk says this will be SpaceX's most difficult mission ever. The Falcon Heavy is carrying two dozen experimental satellites. And we've got Rachel Crane following the story. What an incredible sight. The most difficult mission yet, Elon Musk says. And uh, this is quite significant because this is the second launch this year. That's right, Eleni. Uh, and the reason that this particular mission was, you know, dubbed the most difficult launch they've had to date is because there were 24 experimental satellites on board and they were headed for three distinct orbits. Now that required a lot of tricky maneuvering for this rocket. The second stage booster had to fire four times, so a lot of room for error here. And uh, the customer was the Air Force and the DOD coordinated with NASA and several other uh, uh, laboratories and universities for the payloads on board. And a lot of excitement about those payloads. Now NASA had a very futuristic atomic clock, also a green propellant, but the thing that had the space community be super jazzed was light sail two. Now this was a solar sail project, you know, centuries in the making here. Uh, it was sponsored by the nonprofit Planetary Society, which is headed by Bill Nye, known as Bill Nye the Science Guy. And it essentially is a spacecraft that is uh, going to use um, light photons as the propellant. But unlike, uh, you know, traditional solar panels that convert uh, solar energy into electricity, this uses the momentum of the photons itself. Wow. And uh, you know, uh, the DOD, of course, was the one that coordinated this launch. And so a lot of eyeballs on this launch because it was ultimately meant to certify the Falcon Heavy for uh, future national security missions. So as, as we all know, today's launch was a smashing success for SpaceX, SpaceX. So that could mean billions for the company if it does, in fact, yeah. get that certification, Alani. Absolutely. I mean, and that's the thing, right? Because and that's what made, made it quite difficult was the technology that you say it was testing and, of course, really expensive. Uh, I guess, uh, you know, uh, project as well. 24 spacecraft is what is expected to be um, put into three separate orbits. You, you mentioned this um, earlier, but the question is, yes, successful takeoff, but again, they still have a lot of work to do to make this entire project a success. What are we hearing on that front? Well, this was also the first time that the Falcon Heavy was using reusable or uh, art boosters uh, that had already flown to space. So the, uh, that was also uh, a very exciting uh, part of this mission. And they were able to land those boosters once again successfully back on Earth. Unfortunately, the core booster, that crashed uh, into the ocean yeah. when it was attempting to land on the drone ship there. But uh, while that, you know, wasn't a perfect landing, there was another huge success for SpaceX here. They were hoping Hoping to land uh, the the rocket's fairing um, into like basically a giant net on a ship in the ocean called Miss Tree, and they've been trying to do this for a year and a half, and they finally did it today. So Musk says that that's about a savings of six million dollars being able to rec recover that fairing. Now the fairing is basically like that nose on the end of the rocket that protects the satellites inside the rocket, and it comes off once in space. So uh, uh, a lot of success for SpaceX today. I'm sure Fantastic. Musk and his uh, his whole team. Team is is celebrating today.